There is a setback in the search for Kenya's next chief justice. Listen to this. The High Court temporarily has tonight barred the Judicial Service Commission from holding further deliberations to determine whose name will be forwarded to President Uhuru Kenyatta for consideration. The order, issued by Justices Anthony Marima and Wilfrida Okwine, also stopped the vetting panel from conducting the interviews for the judge of the Supreme Court, which was set to begin next week. This after four petitioners moved to court challenging the ongoing process. The orders came hours after the commission interviewed Court of Appeal President William Ogo. Chemtai Gowin has more. Despite allowing the Judicial Service Commission to proceed with the vetting of the two remaining shortlisted candidates for the post of Chief Justice, the High Court, however, barred the panel from holding any further meetings to review the outcome of the interview process. Sources had intimated that the Commission was set to utilize the weekend to deliberate and settle on the nominee, whose name would be forwarded to President Uru Kenyatta for consideration. The orders issued by Justices Anthony Mrima and Wilfrida Okwany, further slamming the brakes on next week's interview for nine shortlisted candidates for the position of Supreme Court judge. In the orders, the court noted that the petitions lodged had raised weighty issues challenging the constitutionality of the ongoing process. In one of the cases, Petitioner Tofen Nafula questioned the legality of JSC Vice Chairperson Olive Muganda's election as the interim chair of the commission, insisting the acting Chief Justice should head the vetting panel. According to her, the election of Muganda relegated the acting Chief Justice to the status of ordinary Member. In his orders, Justice Mrema referred the case to the acting Chief Justice to constitute a bench to hear the matter, saying it raises substantial questions of law. Wafula also wants the commission to disclose to the public transcripts of the candidates' interviews made by each of the commissioners, the grades scored by each candidate as made by each commissioner, and the reasons for recommending appointment the best-ranked candidate for the position of Chief Justice as well as Judge of the Supreme Court. In the second petition, Member Ocharo called for the adjournment of the interviews until the nation was informed whether the remaining candidates have complied with Chapter 6 of the Constitution, saying it was already clear that the JSC, which has been named as a respondent, had shortlisted the candidates, yet some did not have the requisite clearance documents. Ocharo also joining the first petitioner in questioning why Professor Mugenda chaired the vetting panel, terming it open defiance and insubordination of the constitutional and statutory dictates that demand the respondent's affairs should either be chaired by the Chief Justice and or his deputy in his absence. The developments came after the commission vetted Court of Appeal President William Ouko, who vowed to use his 17-year experience in administration to reform the judiciary. Please summarize uh, why this commission should nominate you for the position of CJ. I'm capable of moving this institution from where it is to another level. Ouko revealing that failure to swear in the 41 judges, 10 of whom were set to sit in the Court of Appeal, had frustrated the operations of the court, pledging to get to the bottom of the matter and resolve the long-standing tiff pitting the executive against the judiciary. A government has three legs like an African traditional stool. So those legs are the same. And uh, if one is short, then you can't comfortably sit on that stool. Oak also vowing to join his predecessors in finding an antidote to the perennial issue of backlog of cases. The commission will on Thursday vet academician Dr. Moni Wekesa. Chibutai Goin, Citizen TV.